My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an exceptionally nice 1965 Mustang Fastback Shelby Tribute. It's a super nice car, front to back. I mean, really, this one's exceptional. I look forward to telling you all about it. If you do go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in this Shelby Tribute. I bought this car from a gentleman. Uh, he's a mechanic by trade. Uh, he's owned this car for 13 years and just really took excellent care of it. He bought it already done and just did a lot of little improvements, got it really dialed in. I drove this car home. It's, it's just a really nice car. I wish all my cars came in like this. My job would be so easy. I actually paid him what he was asking. I looked at the car, I was just so happy. He brought me such a nice car. I paid him and he was happy and I was thrilled. Underneath the car, super clean. Uh, he put polyurethane bushings. He put the one inch sway bar. Uh, he converted the front drums to disc. They're four piston Kelsey Hayes uh, calipers. Uh, the rear brakes were completely rebuilt. Uh, he has all stainless steel fuel lines, transmission lines, I think the brake lines as well. Um, a C4 automatic transmission was rebuilt, has a shift kit. So underneath the car is excellent. The car shows fantastic. Standing here, it is incredible. The body is straight, things fit, things line up. It's glossy, the chrome sparkles, the paint is super slick. It does have, when you're under these lights, and if you want to be super critical, there's a little slight orange peel. A real light wet sand would make it like glass, and I'm being overly critical. This car is beautiful. Uh, there's a little, I don't even know if I'd call it a scratch, almost like something dripped on the paint, and there's a couple nicks touched up here. So there are some imperfections in the paint, but I'm telling you, standing next to it, it's, it's stunning. It's gorgeous, it's shiny, it's straight. It has the Shelby hood with the scoop. That's an open scoop. It has the racing stripes over the top, the hood pins. Uh, it has new Magnum 514 inch wheels with the Shelby center caps, new BF Goodrich tires, new antenna, uh, GT350 stripes are new. The bullet mirrors are new. Uh, he replaced the complete wiper arms and blades. Uh, a lot of the trim, I don't know if it's all brand new, but it's straight and shiny. You notice they've added the quarter uh, windows. Uh, the race cars use that so you can have better visibility. Um, has the Shelby gas cap, the emblem. So the tail lights, bumper, reverse lights are real nice. Has the GT exhaust coming through the valance. This is all nice, fits nice. Original glass, there's a light scratch here and there in the glass. They've actually etched uh, the last six of the VIN number into the windows, that's for security in case the car gets stolen. These scoops are not just glued on here, they're functional scoops like the original. They actually has the air duct that goes back and cools the brakes. So these two items are not something you typically see on a Shelby Tribute, they want the extra. Every, you know, doors shut beautifully. I mean, it's so nice. Jams are painted up real nice. The rubber bumpers and the fuzzy seals and the weather strips and sill plates, they've been replaced. Under the hood, it's a mild performance 302 motor. The hood kind of stays up on his own, but he also added this rod. Show quality. The whole engine bay is a nice satin black, has new cadmium plated bolts on the fenders. It's dressed up with the Cobra finned aluminum valve covers and air cleaner. The motor is spotless. The blue paint uh, is tidy and all the nuts and bolts and brackets and spark plugs, nothing is just spray painted over. It's super tidy. 
has an aluminum intake, an Edelbrock carb with electric choke, the alternator, the fan, uh, everything is tidy and looks new. The interior is immaculate. You open the door and it's like that, that's spotless. It just looks immaculate. New cushions in the seats, new, the trim on the sides is shiny, new upholstery, new seat belts, new carpet, as GT350 floor mats. Door panels are new, the armrests, the window cranks, the handles, the headliner and visors are new, and the headliner is tight as a drum, the mirror is new. All the plastic back here is in real nice shape. It has the sport fold down seat, it's got seat belts front and back. Everything in front of you is beautiful. The instruments, the gauges were all replaced. He put a 140 mile an hour speedometer in there. He also put LED lights throughout. There's LED lights in the dash, tail lights, turn signals are LED bulbs. The center console's brand new. It has the wood uh, Shelby Cobra shift knob. So much to talk about here. He put in the Monte Carlo bar. He added power steering, so everything related to that is new. He added the power brakes, everything related to that is new. The washer bag is new, and it, it has a new pump, and the squirters are all hooked up. Uh, it's, he upgraded to a three-core radiator. The shroud is new, it has reproduction, forward hoses and clamps. Uh, he has the auto light battery topper, so it looks like an original. The horns are new. It uh, looks like new wiring, uh, just super tidy, clean, dialed in, nice. Uh, back to the inside here. Again, the whole dash sparkles, the knobs, the heater controls. Uh, it's got the Shelby horn button on a walnut wheel. It is an upgraded stereo. It has the molded in kick panel speakers, six by nine speakers in the back. All the interior lights work. Very tidy in the trunk, all nice and clean. It's red, has the rubber mat with the matching tire cover. The spare rim is clean, painted black, it's got a nice tire. This is glossy, has a sticker and rubber and new bolts and uh, fire extinguisher in here just for peace of mind. So again, I just can't tell you, it's not perfect, uh, but it's just a super nice, tidy, clean car. Uh, I would feel confident to just take it anywhere. The, the emergency brake handles new. The pedals look new. New cushions in the seats. Shelby put the tachometer right on the dash. Uh, so it has the tack here. He did it in a way where nothing is, he didn't ruin the dash pad. He built a bracket. So the tack is there, but doesn't hurt anything. Motor smooth as can be, but does make a little bit of rumble out the tailpipes. But at this end, it's quiet and smooth. The distributor, the coil, the wires, just the way they're, you know, the brackets are in place and the wire holders, everything is just neat and tidy. You can tell this guy would go out and tinker with this car and just make it better and better and better. I barely gave it any effort there. Shuts really nice. The light at the back of the console works. The brackets on the bottom of the seats are painted. Yeah, LED uh, lights on the dash. I just lit them up. They're nice and bright white. I wish all of our cars came in this nice, ready to go. I'm sure whoever buys this car is going to be a pleased customer. So visit volocars.com. There's plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. I just gave you my impression of the car, but any questions you have or concerns about the car, the process, they'll help with all of that, including financing, delivery, the paperwork. So go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to contact us. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching.